हेलो दिस इज मी अगेन रवि एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप चैप्टर ऑन कोपा विच इज विथ रिगार्ड टू द एक्चुअल पोस्टिंग्स और द एक्चुअल फ्लो ऑफ डेटा लेटस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द एक्चुअल फ्लो ऑफ डेटा बिहेव्स इन कोपा एंड वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ फ्लोइंग द एक्चुअल डेटा टू कोपा एज वी हैव डिस्कस सो फार इन कोपा एंड अंडरस्टूड द यूज ऑफ कोपा वी ऑल नो वेरी वेल दैट दिस इज द ओनली मॉड्यूल विच प्रोवाइड्स क्विक स्नैप व्यू रिपोर्टिंग्स विथ मल्टीपल प्रमोडिशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑप्शन दैट probably management uh, and mainly the top level management can use for their uh, quick view reports now considering all the factors this information or this data can be put up or can be displayed provided that all the information is flown to copa since copa is a separate module having different sets of objects discussed so far like the characteristics the values uh, 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 and and the different kinds of data that are going to flow may it be in terms of quantity or may it, may it be in terms of amount uh, for different different sets of uh, uh, typical information these all thing needs to flow from the respective different modules from postings to copa let us understand in small brief that how these flows are identified when it comes to copa let's notice them and for noticing them we will go to controlling and profitability analysis as we have done so far and the flow of actual values again this is one of the most important part in copa and uh, we can say that mostly this is the place where the complete setup or uh, this is a place uh, which we can say as a core setup of copa would be uh, i will begin up with uh, explaining you the different subsets that are uh, right now visible in the screen for copa and if you notice these different subsets are the transfer to sales orders sorry rather transfer of sales orders transfer of billing documents orders and project settlements postings from fi and mm settlement of production variances transfer of overheads then transfer of customer rebates transfer pricing scenarios periodic adjustments and we can obviously skip the activation of profitability analysis for now because that is something that we are going to do at the end of the entire setup now let's talk about these things one by one transfer of incoming sales order by this what the system refer to is that if we want to have reportings or information pertaining to sales like its revenue its discounts its uh, uh, charges which are to be recovered from customer uh, its quantity in terms of sales volume its uh, uh, frets which might be charged across 
uh, all these things commissions commissions to a separate agency for the sales all these informations needs to be flown from sales that is the sales module i'm talking about sales and distribution in order to make sure that it flows from sales and distribution there are certain things that should be happening what are those the certain things are number one for sure my sales order that is the starting or the beginning point that takes place in SD module that is sales and distribution module my sales order is created with all the required sets of conditions when I say conditions these are nothing but pricing conditions again these pricing conditions are all created and uh, placed uh, under under SD module as a pricing schema or uh, a pricing uh, uh, procedure within which there are different kinds of condition which finally derives the complete pricing these conditions are you can say a differentiations or you can say the important consideration that has to be captured in copa if the reporting is required at that level for an example let's say i have a revenue and i do have discounts on it so both of them would be a part of my pricing and both of them would be two separate condition under my pricing schemas these two separate pricing conditions will have informations in terms of value that will flow from the sd module at a sales order or at a billing level to my copa now all said and done how this particular activity happens i mean what is the logic based on which these data can flow from the sales and distributions order sales order to copa let's go to uh, the sales order and billing process one uh, one by one uh, let me first even address a very important thing that is there is no differentiation between the setup of sales order and billing document yes there is no differentiation in the setup both the setups even will take us to the same screen uh, uh, and to the same config where uh, we will be assigning the condition to our value fields when i say value fields recall the discussions in our earlier chapter and i refer to exactly them as the value fields now why there is no difference between uh, these two setup again um, it's it's typically uh, the way sap has provided us these kind of settings but if you ask me uh, what i can rationalize uh, beyond a certain limit is that could be or even uh, can be a case that there are certain entries or there are certain scenarios where uh, we we do the uh, you know billing in in in, in a in a way uh, that is uh, you can say uh, what should i say uh, okay let's take an example and then explain it uh, normally uh, the practice is that we create a sales order based on the sales order we do a goods delivery and then 
from goods delivery we finally create a billing document which is nothing but the invoice billing all said and done this is a normal standard practice this practice can deviate based on country to country and based on the uh, you can say methodology that is opted for like uh, there can be a situation where like uh, the situation uh, sorry there can be a situation where uh, there are certain taxes that creeps in and you need to uh, you need to create or rather you need to have those uh, tax invoices or tax paid uh, entries before even doing the goods issue or before even creating the billing so is that the case that i do even require those data to be taken uh, to copa and to be reflected again uh, depending upon the requirement we can think and uh, 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 put across the information but beyond all this keep in mind two very very important things that are number one nothing flows to copa until and unless the billing is done i repeat nothing flows to copa until and unless the billing has been done number 2 even when we are doing a goods issue or rather a goods delivery it can be that there are certain copa conditions or rather uh, there are certain conditions that are being mapped to copa to uh, fetch the data or uh, at the time of uh, order creation there are certain uh, condition that are uh, mapped to copa to fetch the data but all of these will only fetch it post billing of invoice nothing will be done prior to it i repeat it crystal clear so billing is the triggering point where data flows to copa now then why do we prepare to different places uh, why do we have to different uh, segregation of notes could be probably that the conditions uh, uh, in certain industries or in certain countries are in such a manner that uh, their their uh, scenarios for delivery and scenarios for uh, billing and uh, uh, conditions applicable for them are volatile by volatile i mean that they put across the conditions all the applicable conditions in the order but consider only the relevant ones uh, at the time of billing because uh, they uh, their billing uh, for those products or items might depend or rather might uh, be uh, specific to certain conditions and parameters getting satisfied in normal layman's understanding just take it in this way both the notes will take you to the same configuration there is only same configuration that you are going to do from both the notes so forget everything just remember one thing whatever is the information that you want to fetch in terms of uh, uh, data from sales to copa consider all those pricing conditions and map it over here against the value fields in copa yes that's the simple way to do it let's check them out so in both the cases there are exactly uh, uh the same way of segregation which is assign uh, value fields and assign quantity fields again assign value fields and assign quantity fields let's go and see uh, the difference between the uh, uh, both the things sorry 
the screen got disturbed hello sorry uh, before going to the uh, setup just wanted to mention one more important thing uh, if you carefully see both the notes that is uh, for the sales order and for the billing the only difference that you will find is of activate transfer of sales order by this i believe you have understood already that by default system considers the transfer at the time of billing but if i specifically activate it for the sales orders then it starts considering the flow at the time of creation of the sales order or the plan delivery in the schedule line item as the case may be second do remember that this particular setup is applicable only and only in case of costing based copa because the conditions are flowing to the value fields this is completely a costing based copa scenario that typically will be considered and will be mapped over here let's continue and go to the value fields the moment you go to the value fields you will find an option which is maintaining the assignment of sd conditions to copa value fields just double click on this and system will ask you about the operating concern take the operating concern that you have created uh for the time being i am going ahead with the same operating concern of idea and this is what you going to view next that is conditions and the value fields if you notice carefully these condition types are nothing but the condition types which are majorly the chunk that we use for preparing or rather for uh, 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 having our pricing schema ready this is the entire list and obviously for sure we don't use the entire chunk but we use some of it for our own uh, schemas and those conditions which we use we gonna map the applicable ones to our value fields again uh, one more important thing there can be many is to one relationship of assignments over here that means there can be multiple condition types getting assigned sorry there can be multiple condition types getting assigned to one value fields or one condition type getting assigned to one value fields like if you see over here carefully cases of rebates or cases of revenue are where there are multiple condition types that have been assigned to one value fields but it cannot be vice versa second we need to be very much careful with these assignments in in the sense that based on these assignments data is going to get considered uh, and is going to flow to our copa reporting so any mistake or any clubbing of information might lead to uh, misleading reports or um, or rather uh, uh, inaccurate reports which 
makes